G'day guys, good morning. It's day three of our Bundaberg trip. I'm getting packed and ready to go to 1770. Get in the cows. So we're gonna drive up the coast, get some fuel. And we're gonna go up through one of the national parks. Um, so I haven't been up through there before. Watched a few videos yesterday okay, and it looks pretty fun. So we'll pretty much just get on the road, get some fuel, pack these kids up and then we'll um, try and get as much footy as we, footage of, as we can. Right, I'll see you on the road. We've been on the road for about 20 minutes now. We've got 64k to go, so about another 50, 55 minutes, so about another hour. And then we'll um, air down and we will go up the National Forest and the uh, clouds are rolling in, so hopefully that misses us. Do some deflating. It's gonna air down. It's gonna air down on these tires now. Just to be sure, we haven't been off-road very much, so um you got the sound on that thing. Yeah, yeah, so we haven't done off much off-roading, so we're gonna air down just in case. And it doesn't hurt just to take some air out and make it a bit smoother of a ride. Throw these deflators on, they're all automatic, we'll just run around and do the whole car. Like that. Nearly wait. Right now we're all done airing down, so we're gonna get on the road and get up to the 1770. Made it into Riddle, Middle Rock. We should have got that water to the Righto, that was good, but it's definitely not a lunchtime stop. Nope. It's a long walk down, and it's uh, muggy as all hell in the middle of summer now, so it's not a lunch stop. We'll pull up at Flat Rock, which I hear is pretty good, and then we will definitely have some lunch and a break there and keep cruising. So yeah, beautiful beach, but not a lunch stop.
shit, there's a lot of this coming. a couple of waypoints in for that last bit of track which was pretty pretty um, pretty good actually it was pretty hardcore um, but we just did it in four high 80 psi and got through it no worries we're gonna head up to Red Rock oh we missed Red Rock so we didn't see a turn off for Red Rock there so unfortunately but anyway um, we're gonna go up to Rocky Point see if we can find a lookout and have some lunch I gotta actually air up my tires and then we're going to get going. Radio guys, it was about a 15-20 minute walk down to Red Rock, but guys, it was easy down, but she was hard coming back up. Uh, we took the esky, we went and had lunch down there. It was a beautiful, beautiful spot to have lunch, but yeah, she was a bit of a hike on the way back up. Kids were a bit tired when they got up to the top, um, but yeah, it's one of those things you probably don't want to not go and see because it's absolutely awesome down there. It's a beautiful place. Um, magical really great spot for lunch um, we had an awesome time down there this is a great little day trip I'm um, really sorry about the footage um, we sort of weren't really gonna make a video this was sort of just for our personal use but I've just thrown something together so my uh, so all you guys and family and everyone can check it out but yeah we had an awesome time at 1770 for that day and um, the beaches were absolutely beautiful so that was like the fourth beach we seen and all the beaches were just amazing couldn't expect anything else up at bundy um yeah enjoy guys
gì ai Cool. Right, let's get in the car. Oh, I left my keys down on the bed. Hey guys, that is the 17 Seve 70 camping ground, absolute oceanfront camping. Some um, free Wi Fi. It's got a cafe right at the campgrounds, which is awesome. We stopped and got a coffee on the way back, and um, looks like they did good food and good coffee. Most of the time, you have to pre book for Easter, Christmas, that sort of stuff, special events, because everyone goes up there. Um, it's a very busy place at that sort of time. It's really great. It's um, is named after the second landing in Australia of Captain James Cook on the 24th of May, 1770. 1770 is a peaceful, laid-back town with shopping facilities seven kilometres away at Angus Waters. Basic groceries are available in the camp kiosk or dine in our restaurant. Yeah, guys, so check it out. It's awesome. You pretty much just camp on the river and that's a fantastic place to be. Um, we're going to plan to go back up for a three or four day weekend and maybe make it our little second destination um, when we want to get away for a weekend. Um, yeah, ho hope you guys um, enjoy that little bit of information and yeah, keep watching. Hey guys, I just um, pulled this up on the net, so if any of you guys are wondering what it is, I mean no disrespect. Um, I'm just going to read it straight out of the internet where anyone can get it. Six people died when the Dania, Diana overturned off the town of 1770 in October 2017. Inquest in Gladstone, the boat overturned in violent seas just after 7pm. One of the guys swam to the surface and he heard voices banging coming from the cabin. He eventually banged on the hull and got a response back. He said, I responded, can you get to the window, can you get to the door, can you get to the e-herb? And I repeated this probably for hours. The Deanna sank about 11pm. The inquest heard the emergency beacons noticed e-herbs and life jackets couldn't be accessed by the men and the self-activated lifeboat did not deploy. Very sad. Um thing to happen and just being up there looking at all that stuff it really hits home makes you think about your family and um, the, the family of those guys that went down and very sad story